Nerf guns are fun. But we're not here to play with Nerf guns. We're here to talk about comic books. Yes, it's me, the Mad Montreal Man. And I've been asked not to yell anymore by certain people. Too bad! We're here for comics! Yes! It's Wednesday! Ah, deep breath. Okay, we're going to start off with DC. Yes, the big DC. Alright, alright. Uh, probably DC's nicest cover of the week. And it almost makes me want to vomit to say this. But I have Vampire. Yeah, that's a nice composition to it. The story uh, uh, has gotten better. That's probably my favorite I Vampire so far. Once more, the vomit. Okay, something I wish they would cancel. Because it's League Dark. It, it just doesn't work as a regular title. Make it a vertical title, make it darker. Actually, make it dark. If you're aware of it. <sighs> Voodoo. Quick, someone get me some pins. <laughs> Okay, uh, nothing bad to say about this one. I do like the Western comics. Good story, nice art. Always a good read so far. Oh, look, it's a new villain for the Justice League. Yeah. Alright, Batman the Dark Knight. Good read as usual. The one thing you can't go wrong with is Batman. Look at his face. Yeah. Okay. Worst cover of the week? Possibly the worst cover I've seen in a long time. It's the Savage Hawkman. It's a life field cover. Why is oh! Is it a... Okay, no, I thought that was a thumb. I don't know. It's, but thankfully, he didn't do the artwork on the inside. But he wrote it, and it sucks. <sighs> Firestorm. I'm almost at a point, where are they going with this? It's kind of like, oh look, anyone can be a Firestorm. <laughs> Stupid. Okay, the best written DC book for the week, and also probably the coolest superhero DC has nowadays, not counting Batman. I'm talking oh, Aquaman. God. A is for A+. Plus. Getting back to Batman. Okay, I, I did have fun reading this one. Okay. All right. <sighs> Titans, go! Hi. The cartoon would have been better than this. The cartoon uh, better than that. Let's just, I, I know they're trying to do... Uh, they're trying to be comfortable with homosexuality in, in, in the news. And for people who saw Ted, there's an inside joke about that. Patrick Warburton, Ryan Reynolds, that's all I'm going to say. But, okay, really? Do we really need a... You know... Look, it's teenagers in swim trunks. Mm, need to see that. It's almost pedophilic, if you think about it. Okay. Gears of War. Fun. Usual. What? For some reason, Mad Munch all goes just in at her fingers. No, I just realized I have two splinters in my fingers, so I'll take care of those. Splinters. <laughs> it's summer. They they get bored. No! What's going on? Okay. okay. Superman. That really hurts. Yeah, okay, Reed. It wasn't great. Yes, I'm schleppy today. I'm in the blues. Schleppy. Okay, Green Lantern, New Guardians. It's a hit and miss title lately. Die, it's, Blue Lantern, die. Yeah. Seems kind of All right, Flash weird. was kind of okay, really. All right, a lot of hype. Expecting a lot from it, but if you read the original Watchmen series, there was nothing really new story-wise. It was kind of like you're rehashing stuff we already know. Disappointing. Shall we go on to Marvel now? Hmm. Might as well. Okay. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Why am I wasting my money again? <laughs> yeah, not too impressed. Captain America and Iron Man. So-so read. Uh, Captain America's a ha habit buy. Normally really good. Now this next one, I just have to say one thing. Aaron at RX had the best comment about this one. Basically, FF, or as he put it, why don't they just stop fooling everybody and just call it Power Pack? How true! It's Power Pack. Uh, probably the best art in a Marvel this week. You know what I'm talking about. It has to be. It's going to be Thor. Silent Thor. Okay. 
Thor. Kind of a cool cover, but best art in a Marvel book. A close second for best artwork, and it was an interesting twist on the story as well. The Incredible Hulk. That's almost BD-esque. So, that was a good one to read. Okay, this is cover of the week. You might be a bit shocked I'm giving it to this book, but it deserves it. It's got a nice composition, nice color. Oz! Yes, a kid book wins cover of the week. If you can see behind me, you'd see that, uh, not behind me, behind Mama Jaw Girl. Cute Mama Jaw Girl loves the fact that I gave this cover of the week, but it is. It's the nicest one this week. There was also another worst cover of the week, but I didn't buy it, uh, 2009. League, you know, extraordinary league. It was horrid looking. Okay, on the alternate front, I missed number one, but I did pick up number three. Luna Brothers Whispers. Okay, if you're a fan of the Luna Brothers, you're gonna love this book. Uh, hooked on this series already, and it's only been three issues. If you're a fan of the Hernandez Brothers, love and rockets, peoples, and you love their style. Always a fun style. Gilbert's got a new book called. Fatima! Yes, Fatima! I don't know why I read the book and I want to become a luchador! Fatima! That might be slightly racist. No, it's not! It's Fatima! <laughs> okay! I've been enjoying it. Very BDS-esque. Profit. Ooh. Very, very bds issue. And, of course, the Force of Habit by... Kirby Genesis Silver Star. Kirby stuff. How can I not? It's like I'm the geek in me. Wants the Kirby stuff. So that's it for my books for this week. Uh, check in later. We'll have uh, Allison's insert title here review. Not later. Thing. And uh, we'll have a surprise reviewer for a couple other books that came out this week. So you'll have to tune in later. Mad much y'all, man. See you next time.